Well, New York City is known for its cramped living spaces, but some landlords on the Lower East Side are accused of illegally subdividing apartments to the extreme. That's right. We're talking about creating and renting rooms where the tenants can't even stand up straight without hitting their heads on the ceiling. Sharon Crowley takes a look at the dangerous conditions. New York City firefighters and Department of Buildings inspectors were turning to 165 Henry Street on the Lower East Side for more safety inspections. It looks very dangerous at looking at that because they said there was like five AC units on top of each other. Inspectors had to vacate two condominiums here after two different landlords illegally converted this housing into dangerously small rentals. Did you see a lot of people coming and going from there? Yes. Inspectors found the condos divided in half horizontally. You can still see the wooden boards through the window. It created two floors with very low ceilings. These pictures from the Department of Buildings show an inspector crouched into the room with ceilings ranging between four and a half and six feet high. A tiny staircase was also put in to get to each floor. It's dangerous, and uh, these micro units are just illegal. They're dangerous, and it shouldn't happen. Investigators were alerted to the illegal housing here. After neighbors called 311 to complain about it, the fire department also noticed something unusual and notified the buildings department. You had people living in four and a half foot, pretty much cubby holes, and that's just not safe. And then cramming that many human beings into an apartment just wasn't safe for the tenants. And it isn't even safe for first responders who, if God forbid anything happened, would have come there and wouldn't have known where to start. The two landlords are facing significant fines. Neighbors here say it's not that unusual for property owners to take advantage of residents who are new to this country. The displaced tenants will now be relocated with the help of the American Red Cross and at the landlord's expense. On the Lower East Side, Sharon Crowley, Fox 5 News.